Hey, Sal Zumbro, good to see you again. Uh, I want to remind you of our series on the book of Ephesians. A couple weeks ago, Pastor Jeff opened our series talking about chapter 1 and the um, the prayer, the thanksgiving that Paul opens up with us as he writes to his brothers and sisters in the city of Ephesus. Pastor Jeff talked about the city of Ephesus, what it was like, the well-to-do city, uh, and he talked a lot about thanksgiving, giving thanks, uh, and in our prayer life, what Paul opens this book with. This week, as we move into chapter two, I want to talk about barriers. I've titled the sermon for this week, Barriers, um, different barriers that we have in our life. What are they for you? And what I mean by that is, you know, some Paul talks about in, in chapter two, the barrier that kept Jews and Gentiles separate. And he talks about Jesus Christ and the work on the cross eliminated that barrier. And so there's a couple of really important words as you look at chapter two, specifically starting in verse 11. It says, therefore, remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision. Remember that at that time you were separate from Christ. He's talking about like previously, formerly, you were, you were separate from Christ. You were far off. The Jews and the Gentiles were separate, but the work of Jesus Christ on the cross has eliminated that barrier that separates the Jews and the Gentiles. And he's saying, and together, he talks later about Jesus being the chief cornerstone and that together we make the building. And sometimes I, I think that the barriers that we still see uh, in our life are barriers that we create. So often we feel that we may um, be distant from God. We distance ourselves from him. I think about, uh, you, you know, we maybe we go on vacation or we um, have something in our life where we just, we feel distant in our faith, but yet God is always, always with us, always there. So these barriers that we think are in our lives are often built by us, are created by us, where Paul is saying that those barriers don't exist. They have been torn down. They are, they're eliminated. And what eliminated them was Jesus Christ on the cross, the blood of Jesus Christ. He is the chief cornerstone. So my question for you as you read through chapter two is what barriers do you feel are placed in your life? I mean, have you created barriers? Are there things that you feel are keeping you from the love of Christ? And what can you do to, to feel like those barriers don't exist? You know, because Paul writes that they don't. Most likely the barriers that you feel that are in your life are man-made, are built by you. Um, because nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. So as you read through chapter 2 this week, think about that. What barriers do you feel are, are in your life and how do you work through them? How do you get through them? How do you um, eliminate that distance that you feel is between you and God? Um, so again, chapter two is really going to be our focus, specifically verses 11 through 14, uh, sorry, 11 through 22 rather. And uh, just before that, uh, we are... Um, reminded that it is by grace through faith. Um, I talked about that a few weeks ago too, so that comes up again this week. So anyway, Ephesians, it's such a good book. So take the time to read through it, especially chapter two for this week. Uh, I want to just give you a heads up too that on Sunday, our kids, uh, that our Luther League kids and chaperones that were on the Rainbow Trails trip a few weeks ago will be talking to us about their experience. And then uh, my wife, Jenny, has put together an absolutely awesome video to show during our coffee fellowship time. So if you can make it on Sunday at 9 a.m. to worship with us, that'd be awesome. Looking forward to seeing you. Have a great rest of your week. God bless.